What's up everybody, Mark from Ecom Warriors. Today I'm going to be making a video showing you guys how to create a contact us page, frequently asked questions page, all those different kind of uh, tertiary type pages that you would find on a Shopify store that kind of help out. So as you guys could tell, the design is slightly different um, on the store than you guys have normally seen and that's just because I've set up a course where I showed people how to um, create this from scratch and so I'm not going to release the course now I'll be creating a later date at, as to when I will be releasing the course but you know I added a few uh, features like you know gallery zoom in features um, a whole bunch of different things, you know, frequently asked questions, uh, a, l a product lookbook with the products linked. So, for example, you know, with the products linked. So, there's a whole bunch of different features in the store, and I made, and I made a whole course for it. But I'm going to go ahead and pause the screen, log into the uh, back end of the store, and I'm going to show you guys how to actually create these type of pages. Okay, so now that we're in the back end of the store, the first thing we want to do is click on this online store button right here, and then we want to go to pages. So once we hit pages, you'll see I already have created a few of these pages, but all you have to do, let's say to create a contact plus page, you hit add page, type in the name of that page, and then select the template suffix. And so if you look here, I have a few different options. Now, depending on what theme you're using, you're going to have different options here. So, um, you know, some themes don't have any options available. Some themes have some options available. Um, and basically what it is, it's basically a template to the actual page. So if we just go back here um, and take a look at, let's say, at my Contact Us page, you can see here I have the Contact Us page created. I have no text or anything here in the middle, but if I hit... Uh, view page right we have the page available to us and I'm actually going to show you guys how to edit this in just a minute but uh, that's an example of the contact us page here we have the wish list page we have about us page right so let's just take a look at how the about us page looks okay and you can see here like I said the photos are kind of like grayed out that's because we haven't done any editing to the actual site yet on those specific pages uh, but let's go ahead and create a frequently asked questions page, for example. So I'm going to write FAQs, right? Let's go ahead and write FAQs. And let's click on the FAQs page right there. And let's hit save. So now that that's saved, we have a frequently asked questions page saved. Let's go ahead and view page. And there we go. The page is already created. So whenever somebody goes to alphaleteremix.myshopify.com, they will see the FAQs page available. And we can always add this specific page to our header menu right so if we head over back to our website we can always add it up here now to actually edit these kind of pages let's go ahead and go to our online store again let's get rid of these other links that are in the way and let's go to online store let's hit customize and so you're going to see when we hit this customize button that we have a few options but the first thing that we have to wait for is the thing the uh, screen to load first so let's go ahead and give that a minute and this could take a little bit of time depending on how much content you have so I have a lot of content but as you could see here we have a whole bunch of different pages so you want to go up to here with this little drop down and you could see here let's just hit the FAQs page and so now we can edit this FAQs page that we created earlier the only thing we really have to do is edit the text Right, so the different options and the different questions, and we have to edit the banner. So if we want to edit the banner, let's just say we hit the FAQs button, and you're going to see here an option that says breadcrumb, right? Breadcrumb is this location where it shows the links. That's referred to as a breadcrumb, right? Let's go ahead and select an image. In this case, I'm going to select a banner kind of like this one, right, and hope that it looks decent for the website. So that looks pretty decent. Let's go ahead and hit select, and that's already saved so now let's hit save on the top right hand corner whenever somebody comes to our website and wants to view the frequently asked questions page they're going to be taken right here to edit this actual text and this content we would just go here and just edit you know how long does it take for home delivery that's the first question and you just kind of have to navigate which one is which so let's say i want to delete this question that says uh can i locate from a local store um so that's the question here if I want to delete it, I can remove it 
and there we go it just gone so i would hit save and that's really it so um if you guys are you like curious what kind of theme i'm using it's the wolf of shopify theme i've talked about this theme quite a few times before this is the only theme that i'm currently using for conversions um i have different like clients and things like that that do use other themes that want me to use other themes from my kind of uh, stance on you know the highest conversions possible this is the theme that's going to give you all those features and sometimes people ask me like how does this theme compare to other themes such as let's say debutify debutify is a theme that you have to pay monthly for that only comes with a limited amount of options compared to wolf of shopify and when i say limited the more you want the more options you want the more add-ons the more you have to pay uh, wolf of shopify is one of those themes that you pay one time for the price is 159 um, but i guess it's on sale for 100 and if you got you guys use my code warrior right if you type in enter promo code and type in warrior right and hit apply code you get $25 off on top of that guys uh, check out my YouTube channel I'm making all my videos on this theme and how to actually use it and how to get a benefit from this theme okay how to improve your conversion rates how to get sales and since my YouTube channel is kind of new I plan on showing you guys live sales charts uh, different you know PayPal's you know stripe accounts things like that that just show proof of the sale and proof of the money that's coming in all right I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out. Bye.